Hey everyone, this is Dean with DCA Crypto. Today I've got some really critical strategies for you for the upcoming bull run. Some things that you're going to need to do and keep in mind when we're going into this bull run next year. And just to keep uh, yourself in check so you're making sure that you're not falling for the traps of the bull run and getting yourself wrecked like a lot of people did in the last bull run. It took me a while to figure out these things, but now that I've figured them out, my mindset has changed and it's actually the opposite of what it was when I first started in crypto. So I'd like to share these with you. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and please give this video just a quick like to get the YouTube algorithm pumping for this video. All right, guys, let's jump into it. All right, so first example here, you're gonna have coins like Bitcoin Cash, and they're going to be pumping in this bull run. There's a lot of these bigger uh, coins that are old cryptos from the previous bull runs in like 2018 and stuff, where they hit these crazy uh, market caps, even back then of $60 billion, $63, $64 billion back in 2018. And they're gonna start pumping like they did here in, in 2020, 2021. And your coins are gonna be sitting there doing nothing. They're gonna be sitting there and you're gonna be watching coins like Bitcoin Cash pumping. And you're gonna be so freaking tempted to sell your coins and FOMO into these ones that are gonna be pumping. And when you do that, you're going to get wrecked. So don't fall for it. The best thing to do, if you know that you're in a good project, is, is this is going to play mind tricks with you. And this is exactly what happens in the bull run. They start making all of these other coins. This this market is very controlled and you'll realize that once you've been through a cycle or two. There's a lot of control in crypto by some big whales out there and it's all about messing with your head to take your money. And the only way you're gonna survive this is if you know the game. They're gonna start pumping coins like this and they're gonna start pumping some other ones like uh, Litecoin and stuff like that. And you're gonna be tempted uh, to jump into those coins and drop the ones that you've been holding even though these ones have already pumped It plays tricks with your mind and you're like god my coins not doing anything. I'm sick of waiting I'm so sick of waiting. I need to get profit I need to get profit and you're gonna start jumping into these coins and just as fast as they shoot up here They're gonna come crashing back down and you're gonna lose money and that's what these These whales are doing they're pumping money into these to get them going then retail jumps in and they're gonna dump on you and take your money and you're going to be stuck holding this bag when you could have been and then you and then the other coins are going to start pumping it's kind of like a chain reaction and you never know which coins are going to pump first necessarily and which ones are going to go later so if your coin isn't pumping don't fomo into something that is pumping because it can be very dangerous and you can get wrecked very uh easily so that's lesson number one now I'm going to show you the fear and greed index here. They're going to you're going to go through these phases. Right now people are getting depressed because they're seeing a lot of quality coins like HBAR and uh, just all these coins out there like Solana and stuff. There's people that have been holding these since the last bull run and they're getting depressed because they think that they're never going to recover. But these are solid projects and they're likely going to recover even bigger in the upcoming bull run. Coins like Bitcoin Cash never had any utility last bull run. So then they didn't do nearly as well as they did in their previous bull run back in 2018. You know, back in 2018, Bitcoin Cash got to like 25, uh, was it 25 billion market cap? That was, I guess that's in 2021, where it got to 60 billion in the previous bull run or 64 billion. So some of these that didn't have a lot of use case the second time around, they're gonna, basically do not nearly as well as they did the first time. So keep that in mind. Make sure you're in projects that got uh, a lot of utility that's been added since the previous bull run. So there's still some hype and stuff behind it. But you're gonna go through, and you're gonna have some optimism and belief and you're gonna have a lot of thrill and euphoria because your coins are pumping in this bull run. And you're gonna be listening to all these other YouTubers out there, not all of them, but there's some good ones out there uh, like no BS crypto and, and Jake Gordon and uh, John uh, You know, there's there's all kinds of other youtubers out there that will just tell you that these coins are going to the moon But these these guys that I just mentioned I actually have a level head and you know They're gonna they're gonna tell you to take profits out on the way up 
But some of these other ones, like BitBoy and some of the other ones we're doing in the last bull run, I think BitBoy's learned his lesson now and he's got a whole he's got a whole nother situation going on in his life right now, unfortunately, for him and his family and for the channel. But a lot of these bigger YouTubers out there are telling are they're gonna tell you that these claims are going higher and higher and higher. And the hardest thing for you to do this in this bull run is to sell. It's gonna be the most difficult thing for you to do. Believe it or not, you, you think right now, well, I'm gonna be in so much profit, I'm gonna be so happy to, to sell my coins and make all that money. It doesn't work that way. When you're seeing these coins pop up 200, 300, 400% in one day, you're thinking, man, we've got months of this bull run left yet, and it's just gonna keep going higher and higher and higher, and you're gonna keep waiting and thinking it's gonna go to this dollar amount up here and you're gonna keep waiting and you're gonna keep waiting and then all of a sudden overnight the whole market's gonna crash and you're gonna be like oh I wish I would have took profits I wish I would have took some money I wish I would have cashed out and then you're gonna hear you're gonna be watching YouTube videos and you're gonna hear these uh, youtubers out there saying don't worry about it. it's just a healthy correction and the market's gonna come back and we did get a double top in the last bull run but the problem was if you weren't in the right coins there wasn't a double top for some of these coins. There were for some of the bigger cap coins and some of the coins that had come out later, but a lot of these coins never had a real double top and never came back to an all-time high after they crashed the first time in May of 2021. And that happened to me. If I would have just stayed in some of the bigger caps that I was in like Mana, I would have actually done well because I would have had like uh, $250,000 just in my mana tokens that I was holding earlier in 2021. But the problem is I sold those bigger caps and I moved that into micro caps thinking that the micro caps were gonna pop off and I was gonna make even more money. And then everything crashed and the micro caps that I, were, what, that I was in never recovered with, the, uh, with Bitcoin and Ethereum and a lot of, and a lot of the uh, blue chip coins and never had a second all time high. But the most difficult thing for you, believe it or not, in this upcoming bull run is that you are not going to want to sell. So that's why I'm stressing to you uh, heavily, just pretty much every video until hopefully it gets through to you to take profits out on the way up. Just keep taking profits out in chunks on the way up. That way when it does crash, you're not stuck holding the bag because it may or may not recover. If we go to the rainbow chart here, we're still in this blue phase, which is the buy zone. We could dip down into this dark blue fire sale zone yet before we take off after the halving next year. But we have a lot of time yet in this halving, and this market could get really ugly between now and then. You think things are ugly right now? You haven't seen anything yet. We could see Bitcoin down to twenty or 15000 if things get really ugly between now and the halving. There's a lot of time in here. So if your coins crash, don't panic sell. That's the worst thing you can do because you're gonna really lose money right if that happens. The best thing to do in my opinion is if is try to accumulate more at lower prices to bring your dollar cost average down if we get a big correction. And then when we do pick up, you're gonna be still in great profits. But if you sell at the bottom and then we recover, then you've actually lost money and you can't get that back. You, you're at the bottom and you'll never get that money back. So the worst thing you can do, and it's going to be the hard, it's going to be really hard not to sell when you see the market crashing hard. So keep that in mind because that can really mess with your head. The crypto fear and greed index, I'll be keeping an eye on this in the bull run. As you can see, we got up into, you know, the 90s here, even on the way up. So once we're in this greed zone, it's time to start taking out some profits. And then, you know, you can see here, I don't, I'm not sure, but I can't really zoom in on this, but if you, you can see here that after it came down the first time, that's when the market was coming up. So there was getting some fear in here right at this point would have been a good time to, you know, drop back down in the Bitcoin's price was at 48,000 then. So we got to keep an eye on this fear and greed index. When you're in the greed zone, it's time to start taking some profits. And then we had extreme fear when it crashed back here in, in May and June. And then we picked up a little bit and took back off towards the end of November. We may or may not get a double top like this in the upcoming bull run. Typically in the past, it was just a blow off top. There was no double top. So really hard to say what's going to happen in this next bull run. 
So you wanna make sure you're always taking profits out on the way up and then leave some in your portfolio in case we get a double top and come even higher after it crashes. That's gonna be my strategy anyways. And that way, you know, I've cashed out a good chunk of my uh, coins on the way up. And then if we get a big correction, I'm in profit. I've got that money set off to the side in stable coins or USD in my bank. And then I'm still riding some of my coins in case we get another a double top in the upcoming bull and I'm push even higher. And then I can take out some more profits on the way out for that. But you don't want to be stuck holding the bag. You just cannot ever predict the market or predict the timing on it. So be careful, guys. But that's my strategy and advice for you for the upcoming bull run for this video. I would appreciate it, guys, if you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. Please give this video a quick like to get this uh, out to more viewers. That's how the algorithm works. It really helps when you give it a quick like. Feel free to join my Discord, guys. It's only $9.99 a month. And that's a very, uh, very affordable price for most people. It helps support my channel, helps support my family. And uh, what you get with that is, you know, a, a huge community. You know, as we're growing, it's a smaller community now, but it's going to be a large community of people that support each other with it. But I also have the free Telegram. The link is fixed on all my videos now, so you can join the real Telegram and uh, that's free and I've got that community going in there. Uh, feel free to jump in there if you've got any questions or need help with anything. I uh, would be happy to help you out. That's pretty much all I've got for this video, guys. I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.